Francesca is here. I understand our good friend John Gizzy uh, is on the line. Brother John, are you there? I certainly am, J.D. Nice to be back with you. And, uh, Brother Gizzy, as we see you in that uh, that remarkable hat you're wearing there, cutting, <laughs> making quite a fashion statement. Which I'm a huge fan of, by the it way. Looks, it looks very good. I also, uh, I did not call you a modern-day Walter Winchell, John. Earlier today, I called you our own whiz kid. So we're going to see how you and Francesca do on, uh, on the quiz. Here's question number one. Which president authorized military attacks on Iraqi targets? Which president, Bush or Obama? Obama. Obama. Okay, all right, so we've got uh, both of you saying Obama. Okay, let's go to the next one. Which president said that we are a nation of immigrants, but that our immigration system needs fixing? Well, Bush. Gosh. I guess I'm I'm going to have to agree with you there. Okay, so we've got uh, two with Bush. Which president ignited protests by not closing Guantanamo Bay? I want Francesca to lead on that. I happen to know <laughs> What about <laughs> it, ahead. Francesca? Ladies Go first, ahead. Francesca. Yes, ladies first. I'm going to have to say Obama. Okay, what about you, Gizzy? Uh, that's absolutely correct, and I was there when that happened at the White House in 2009. Uh, that was right about the time my cell phone went off and the famous cell phone incident still talked about. <laughs> We're going to have to get that videotape out and take a look at it again. Here's another question. Which of the presidents, Bush or Obama, approved increased surveillance of everyday private sector Americans? What do you think? I uh, have to say that uh, Obama, uh, and I'm solely basing this on Edward Snow's revelation, Edward Snowden's revelations. Yes, I was going to bring up Snowden as well, and I, I'm going to have to go with Obama, and I'm going to agree with you on that. Well, can, can I flip over all the cards? If I've heard this right from our producers, who are never wrong about anything, uh, the fact is it was both presidents. For all of them? Both of these, for all of these different policy matters, uh, both of them have yeah. taken on that point. Uh, so so you've got a situation, uh, Brother Gizzy, where despite President Obama's efforts to, quote, blame Bush, he has taken up some of those policies, it appears. He certainly has, and I would say he made a pronounced effort uh, in a number of the areas. If you listen to Edward Snowden, so much that's happened at the NSA has gone on a long time, but it's been enhanced in more recent years while Obama has been president. Uh, the question about the nation of immigrants, I know that because I covered, and you certainly remember this, J.D., because you were in Congress then, 06, the debate on the McCain-Kennedy immigration package, which was about half the size of the comprehensive immigration package that the administration was strongly behind. The president said many times we're a nation of immigrants, but our immigration system needed fixing. I'm sure you can find similar phrases uh, in the rhetoric of both. What you never found from George W. Bush was blaming his predecessor. I cannot count how often in my presence this president and three press secretaries now have made references to, and I quote, the previous administration, unquote. Let me bring up another topic where there, there may be a difference, and since you're there at the White House for the daily press briefings covering the stories, John Gizzi, the whole notion of transparency. Do either of these, pre or how would you rank these presidents in terms of transparency, especially with the relationships with the media? J.D., it's not important what I think on this. What's important is what the White House Correspondents Association, of which I am a member, thinks. And at our centenary, uh, the 100th birthday party of the founding of the organization, uh, with its charter signed by President Woodrow Wilson, the senior members of the group spoke on a panel, as did our current officers. Ann Compton, who has covered seven presidents and even more press secretaries, uh, George Condon, second-generation reporter, now with the National Journal, and Steve Toma, 
from the McClatchy papers, they all agreed and said for the record on a panel, this administration is the tightest, the closest in terms of withholding uh, information and the most difficult to deal with for the White House press correspondence. And by the way, that's a lot of experience on that one panel agreeing on something. In the minute or so we have remaining, John Gizzi, let me ask you this question then. As, as White House correspondents officially say, there's no transparency from this administration, why then does it seem to so many of us on the conservative side of things that still by and large the White House press corps, or at least the Washington press corps, gives this president the benefit of the doubt, if not outright boosterism? Or is that uh, an incorrect perception? I'm going to say something, J.D., that I'm sure is going to prompt those cards and letters, as Dean Martin used to say, and now the emails and the Twitter. Uh, you may think that, but as someone who's in the press room at the White House on a regular basis and sees the growing irritation and frustration of my colleagues and the way questions are growing more barbed on any subject from the Affordable Care Act to Iraq and Ukraine, I can say one thing. This is not exactly a group the president would like to come out and sit and have tea with some afternoon. Well, fair enough. We'll have to leave it right there. John Gizzi, thanks for taking the quiz and your insights. Francesca, you did a good job on the quiz, too. And we are coming back with your turn and my turn next on America's Forum.